Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, I know I just <laughs> I know I just went like 12 hours without uploading a video, and then I just uploaded one like 30 minutes ago, but I was just about to go to sleep, and then I saw something, and um, I usually kind of roast Daryl, and they're kind of fun videos, but uh, I'm actually getting angry. <laughs> like I'm I'm seriously getting angry. Um, Daryl Leo, who uh, this is how he talks to people, has become, uh, so I don't know, like a make-a-wish kid for a dying industry. Um, he just spent six to seven months uh, defaming Ethan Van Skyver as a Nazi based on purposefully misinterpreting a tongue-in-cheek drawing from 11 years ago. And uh, Gail Simone has supported him, all the typical SJWs. And this breaks my heart. Robert Liefeld is supporting him, and I'm, I'm really getting disgusted because it feels like us on the channels and similar channels and the people who watch them are the only one who cares if this industry dies or not. These guys have decided that foul-mouthed degenerates are the past, present, and future of comics, and we've seen it's not true. Number one, in just, just purely logistical terms, Never bet the future of an industry on the people who have the least kids and kill themselves the most. Like, that's just, that's just basic math. So anyway, um, uh, this guy, Amir Eladin, uh, takes the time to write to Daryl. Dear Mr. Daryl, my name is Amro. I know what happened to Mr. Van Skyver because I follow him, but this war between you two has to stop. I am not spreading hate nor anything. We, the comic book community, love comics and beyond. It's okay if you don't want to talk to me. And Daryl, like a complete lowlife, just answers, fuck you, to this very well-spoken, very calm and peaceful uh, thing. And then the uh, this bear fangs who's been uh, popping up and stuff, I don't, I don't even know, like, he's like, quote, what happened to my word? And then he says, the unmitigated audacity. Um, so, uh, uh, Daryl says, it's interesting that people often say, why didn't an accuser come forward right when an event happened? <laughs> I've heard of straw men. This is a straw robot. Why didn't an accuser come forward right when an event happened? But those same people will call you a liar, even if you come forward the same day with receipts. Daryl, you are a liar. Not only are you a liar, you're a foul-mouthed degenerate. Uh, horrible person. The idea that anyone would rally around you, even just to use you as a weapon, is uh, appalling. So this is a thread. Um, just after 12 a.m. on that day, EVS tried to pull a fast one on me. Just a quick sleep and a few short hours later, I had posted a complete timeline of his sketchy behavior. It's all public, plus I have receipts. They still call me a liar. Fuck them all. 104 likes. Who are these people liking him? Uh, so, uh, he, he's the one who's a liar. Um, uh, so uh, then Amir Aladdin, like a complete gentleman, why did you swear at me? Is it because I'm following Mr. Van Skyver? I said on my tweet that I am not spreading hate. If I wanted to roast to you, I could have figured tons of ways to roast, but I'm not low, neither ignorant. Nice having a conversation with you, Mr. Daryl. You could never roast me, you sack of shit. So... This is a serious one, and I'm actually hoping this video is fairly popular. I know that people watch this. My in I got insiders at all the major companies. Um, and uh, people either, uh, I've literally heard they dis say they discuss me with gritted teeth. Some of them like me, but they can't admit they like me. Some of them like some of the things I say, but some of the other things bother them, but they watch it. And I got to say... Look at this screenshot right here. Even if you're playing video games. Yes, you, CEO of a comic book company. <laughs> Why are you playing video games at work? Um, but uh, please look at this, and I'm, I'm being sincere. Because you're seeing two directions. You're seeing the road of Daryl, which is the road you guys took in 2014 to 2017. 50 uh, shops closed in a year. The industry decreased by 10%. Uh, CEO of Marvel gone, the health of the industry depleted. 
And then you're seeing this Amir uh, guy, uh, respectful, a gentleman, inquisitive, open-minded. The idea that Gail Simone, and this kills me, Rob Liefeld, are rallying behind this guy, Daryl Leo, instead of this guy, Amir Al-Din, is um, actually just makes me really sad. Um, one person attacks another person. First, the attacker and the attacker's supporters deny that it happened. Next, the attacker and the attacker's supporters... Stop Voldemorting. Say people's names. You're saying that Ethan Van Skyver attacked you by inviting you to a live stream. Meanwhile, you spent seven months calling him a Nazi because you don't like that he voted for Trump. It's very, very simple. Next, the attacker and the attacker's supporters claim that the attack was self-defense. Next, they claim that the attack is a mutual war. Fuck them all. Okay, talking about Paul Ryan. He's going to get back to this. And eh, blah, blah, this part's boring. Uh, so then, Kurt Busiek, who's just going hard in the paint. Uh, Kurt Busiek used to be a big deal. And now he's like nothing. But he's just this like retired, semi-retired uh, customer hater, effectively. <laughs> let, me see, let me see what this says. Um, uh, so then uh, CG says, says, so what are your thoughts about Ethan Van Skyver who left Twitter recently because he got bullied for half a year? And then the guy says, I didn't know you had a time machine. I don't understand that. And then Daryl says, Ethan Van Skyver lies all the time. <laughs> um, uh, Joey K says, if so many people saw it, how come there is not a single screenshot? Not one. Nobody has shown anything showing Ethan harassing Ayo. Very well said. Daryl responds, this person is absolutely obsessed with me. I've been seeing this person's names in my mentions continually. He is obsessed and he is delusional. Literally ask anybody. The entire community saw what Ethan Van Skyver was doing. Now get a freaking life. Again, this is the path. Look at Joey K, and he basically says something completely normal. You're saying you're harassed. Show a single screenshot. Daryl's saying the entire community saw it. And he can't get one person to say, oh, yeah, I saw it. So um, Joey K says, uh, well, let's click, click on this. So they're saying, why did uh, Rich Johnson not even do a preliminary search that shows Daryl Leo calling Ethan a Nazi for six months? Uh, then the guy says, was was he really calling EVS a Nazi for the last six months, or did he call him a Nazi one time six months ago, to which someone helps out with the search? Um, and some... <laughs> Uh, so I, I know he did it. Uh, I, I did have several videos. He did it August, September, October, December. Uh, it was just uh, cont continuous or continually as a. So uh, uh, Joey K says data from August, but claims he didn't say anything until a few weeks ago. AO seems like a real honest guy being sarcastic. I briefly talked about a well-known public figure on my own Twitter account. I did not talk to him, nor did I stalk and harass him, or even attempt to contact him. You don't have the ability to understand social... What? Are you serious? So I believe you do not understand the difference. So you spent six months on and off trying to destroy someone's career with false allegations, but you understand social boundary. Your idea of social boundary is any other normal person's idea of being a coward. Straight up coward. Um... Uh, so uh, then Joey K referring to Daryl calling uh, Ethan a Nazi. He has done it continuously. Not as much as Tim Doyle, but he has done it a lot. I would go get screenshots, but he blocked me for telling the truth about him. Your entire Twitter account is a frothing, sick madman's diary of a one-way obsession with me. Um, I, I gotta say, honestly, this is probably the most upset I've ever been. The idea that a foul-mouthed, mentally unstable degenerate is becoming the rallying for some of the most well-known people in comics used to destroy someone else. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. You guys are speeding. You're not driving into the ditch. You're speeding into the ditch. 
So let's see what this thread is. People talk about a lot of public figures on social media. I was never talking to that scumbag until he talked to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like this is some basic elementary stuff here. But we're talking about a group of people who are happy to say a couple of comments not spoken to a person six months ago is a sustained consistent harassment campaign. Absolutely filthy. I was able to show it was on and off for six months. Uh, so, oh, that's the usual suspects. Um, fucking goddamn psycho. I, I agree. That's a good description of you, Daryl. I, I find it very interesting that in all of this, I was minding my own business, but EVS couldn't mind his. Calling someone a Nazi on and off for six months was minding your own business. I had no relationship with Ethan Van Skyver. None. No dialogue. I didn't attempt to talk to him. I also have no relationship with Jim Lee, Joe Kassad, and Rob Laffeld. Okay, so this is stuff I already said. <laughs> I had no relationship with him. And then he came for me. In the middle of the night, literally. Okay. Oh. I kind of hesitated saying this. I've been thinking this for a while. Daryl, you are an embarrassment to black people. Like, black people need to have a freaking class action suit against you for embarrassment. You are a people who survived 500 years of slavery, 50 years of grim, Jim Crow. I was like 38 before I, I met the first black person that wasn't tough. And you are the softest of soft shits. I, I cannot imagine any black guy in the 80s, 90s, even 15 years ago talking like this. Anyone. Any of them. And then he came for me in the middle of the night. Like, this is embarrassing, dude. Um, pretending with his small tone that we had a casual association. Well, he was just casually existing, and you casually called him a Nazi trying to destroy him. I guess it's kind of casual. And I told him to back up, and I dropped a timeline. Motherfucker's been mad ever since. I like to joke and shit, but I don't play games. He flipped out because I saw through his transparent trap and called him out, out trying to set a childish trap and he's been wild in ever since. How unprofessional. What a jerk. Uh, God. Ugh. You tried to destroy him by spreading false rumors. Rumors you knew to be false. Rumors that any reasonable person knows to be false. But you... Uh, you and a couple other people decided that you could repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Then point to your past uh, saying it and say, Oh, look at all this smoke. There must be a fire. The thing that is so telling about this entire situation, my instinctive reaction to Ethan Van Skyver tweeting at me and trying to coax me into his nonsense was to not at reply to him. I made a general treat for my account, merely clarifying my non-relationship to them. Okay, guy, I'm just kind of getting bored of this. If it sounds like I'm a broken record, and if it sounds like I can't get over it, and if it is starting to bore you, then it's working. You're starting to get sick of the victim. That's how this works. I, I'm Straight up, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. One of the things I noticed when I started moving out of small towns to the big city is uh, I noticed there was a hell of a lot of, like, uh, Gay guys and black guys, or uh, gay, gay black guys and gay Hispanics. And I was like, I don't get this thing because I think of like black culture and Hispanic culture being very, very macho. So it's weird that there's so many gay people in a very macho culture. But then one thing I noticed is even the gayest of gay black guys and the gayest of gay Hispanic guys, they could still whoop ass. It's like they're basically, their mama told them, like, you could be gay, but you can't be a pussy. Like, you could be the gayest dude on the block, but you better be able to fight. This is the opposite of this. This is like he was told to be weak, then told to be weaker, then told to brag about being weak. Um, he's calling himself the abused, a victim. He's, a, he's committing slander and libel openly proudly this and this is the one where i just got sad i just got bummed uh so uh he, he so he says to rob liefeld 
Rob Liefeld is the guy who Googles himself, searches for his name. I do the same thing. Um, uh, Stephen Amell kind of famously said he Googles himself every day. He said any actor who says they they don't is a liar. Um, then Rob Liefeld says, uh, Daryl, I've read about your situation. I'm sorry you have been harassed in any way. You have my support. Thank you for your support. I certainly appreciate it. I'm glad that you reached out. Thanks. Okay, let me give you some man lessons, Daryl. And this is embarrassing. A man should never seek out pity. In fact, pity should be something that you get angry at. There was a period uh, five years ago, right before I got into IT. I tried out a couple things, and uh, things were going well for a, a while, and then a whole bunch of gigs uh, crashed back when I was working in animation and comics. And uh, I was broke. I was broke and broke. And uh, uh, <laughs> two things happened. One time I was uh, out, uh, hanging out with a girl. I was uh, dating. And uh, I was buying my groceries. And then she went to go pay for them. And I was like, stop. Stop. What are you doing? She's like, well, I know. I was like, no, no. I'm a man. I'm going to pay for my own food. The other one is my buddies were coming through town. So I was like, hey, you can crash with me. And they came into my apartment. And it was the saddest dump ever. And I literally looked into their eyes. I saw how they saw my apartment. And I said, don't you guys dare offer me any help. Or, like, leave some money on, like, my table when you guys are leaving. I am broker than hell right now. I'm not putting up with any pity. And I got myself out of the situation. So if someone said, uh, I'm sorry you're being harassed, I was like, no, I, you can't harass me. I'm a man. That's like when people talk about, like, being bullied. They're like, oh, I'm sorry people are bullying you. It's like, no, I, I'm, I'm a man. I can't, bull I can't be bullied. <laughs> and, like, it's, it's not possible. Um... So, God, this is embarrassing, dude. So, I don't know. I mean, I think Rob might... I love Rob. I'm a huge fan of him. I've heard he kind of blocks kind of easily. So, I just have to say this. You guys are choosing who you're supporting. You're throwing away guys like Ethan Van Skyver. You're throwing away the people who support him. And you're going for this guy. A foul-mouthed, angry, in my opinion, mentally unstable, degenerate who basically weaponizes his race and basically sells his dignity for pity bucks and pity attention. You guys got to choose a, a, a side. Are you going to go with guys like Amir? Earlier here, was talking like a gentleman. was actually trying to communicate. Or are you going to go with uh, guys like uh, Daryl? Seriously, this is the future. You know, Choose which direction you're going to. Because the road of Daryl, that goes down to another year, 10%. Another year, 10%. Another 50, 100 shops closed. So anyway, uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, I'm kind of sad. Uh, so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving a super chat and Patreon. You're finding original content. And I'll have more videos up tomorrow.